that might come up on the CLEP college exam is uh, mean, median, and mode. And they might ask us to compare the values of each in a set. So here, let's go over mode. That's the, the number that occurs most. When no number occurs most, there's no mode. Um, if, if there are two groups of numbers that appear most, let's say we had this set, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. So here, these two numbers appear the most. Well, 1 is the mode. If there was another 4 here, you could say both 1 and 4 are the modes. But here, there's no mode, because no number appears more than the other. But we can find the mean and the median. Again, the mean is the sum of each of these parts, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, and that's 10, divided by the number of numbers, which is 4. And that's 2 and a half. So that's the mean. That's mu, or that mean. And the median is the number that's in the middle. Well, here there are two numbers, 2 and 3, that are in the middle. So we add up those two and, and divide by 2. And in this case, that's also 2.5. So the median is the same as the mean. But this does not always happen. Let's, let's change the numbers we're working with. So let's say I have 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Well, now the mode is 1. The mean is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 divided by 6. Well, here 1 and 1 is 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 3 is 7 plus 4 is 11 plus 5 is 16. Divided by 6, I'll double check, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 11, 16. So what's 16 divided by 6? Well, 6 goes into 16 twice, All right, and that's 12, and there's 4 6 or 2 thirds left over. So this is mu, or the mean. Now what about the median? Well, again, there are two numbers in the middle, 2 and 3. So we add up those two numbers, and then divide by 2, or take the average of those two numbers to find our median. In this case, that's 2.5. So notice that the median gives us a different result than the mean when the numbers aren't, I guess, perfectly or evenly spread. In our first case, we had 1, 2, 3, 4. That's a perfect spread, where 1, 2, 3, and 4 are all equally distant apart, and no number has more weight than the other. Here, once we introduce a mode, we alter the median from the mean. Another example where you can tell that the median and mean are going to have a big difference is when the numbers are spread really far apart. So now if we added these up and divided by 8, we would certainly get a, a, a different number than the median here, which is 11, right? Oops, 5 and 11 are both in the middle, which would be 8, right? 5 plus 11 divided by 2 is 8. So if we add these up and divide by 3, 6, 7, 8, we certainly won't get the same thing as the median. So you can tell the median and mean are pulling in different directions when the, the distribution of the numbers is really very uh, varying. Right here we have a bunch of numbers that are low, 1, 2, 1, 4, and 5, and 11, and it jumps up in the hundreds. That's going to really affect uh, or, or spread the gap between the mean and the median. Alright, hope that helped.